Hi guys, welcome back to Dark Boot on the road to 9999 VR. This episode we have Nintendo Tracks and I forgot to get the start boost. Well, that was clever. <laughs> Obviously, last week we did miss the episode as I was away and had no access to this account, so I do apologise. But as you can see, I have got back on and the uh, bullet bill puts me straight into the snow. Well, this is a great start to one of my favourite tracks, isn't it? Oh uh, well. Anyway, I do have a new headset, so hopefully the audio is a bit clearer, and hopefully my racing is just as good as when we left it, which was all right. <laughs> because we have just got into the 8k and this lobby is very balanced there's there's no one that's awful and there's no one that's like incredibly good so hopefully we should be getting second or third uh, first is obviously the bonus and uh, that's a nice little bo boost there Ooh, we don't want to be in first at the moment and of course oh he lagged a lot there that's very very poor racing by me there god he lagged so much I thought I didn't realise the item box was there because I was potentially looking at him lagging instead. That was a nice little turn there. Oh, we got quite high. There we go. We can catch that quite well there. I should probably do the trick, but I don't really want to go into first. Uh, I don't want to get hit by a red shell either. Wow. This pack is very close, so this, this could be a good episode and it's a good one to come back to, hopefully. Uh, this is also filmed on a different TV than all of the previous episodes, so hopefully it's better quality for you guys. If not, obviously just let me know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, obviously soon we have got this massive Pokemon mod being released, so a lot of my time and effort has gone into that, and I haven't been focusing on the racing like I said I was going to do. Um, Oh, he lagged. That's a pity. Well, third isn't too bad, but we can we can do better. Should be a little plus. I mean, the lobby's lobby's all right. So, oh, of course it was a 6.5k that came top. Okay, that wasn't a good start. Let's go on to the next. Okay, so we have lost the 8.5k and the 6.5k that won that race so the lobby is now a lot lower than me um, obviously all that means is that I should I should try and get first because otherwise I'm gonna get a big negative and I shouldn't have thrown that apparently ah, I saw that coming there well that's a good start oh that bomb got a double hit very nice we like to see that don't we and uh, look at that <laughs> interesting start there I couldn't really do much with that TC because there was no one really near me and the blue put brilliant and uh, yeah he gave it to me towards the end of it as well so nice try there King Boo although I should call you Dark Boo but you're not as not as uh, a good dark boo as I am, of course. <laughs> right, so boosts is a good item to have on this game. I probably will not try the gap jump because although it's a massive time saver, it's also quite a risky one. So I don't really want to fall off, especially with the respawn points on this. Brilliant. Just as I was saying that, that happened, so <laughs> I can already tell this is going to be an awful race and we're really going to struggle to uh, to get back into this now. In fact, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we're back down to 7.9, back down to the desolate 7Ks, which I would never want to go back into again, but here we are, off we go. Oh, not even a good item. Well, this was a good race, wasn't it? Oh, another one. If only someone actually used their lightning if they got it. Oh, come on, all we can hope for is there's one person off. Okay. Right. 
no, we're not getting anywhere, are we? Oh, we are lucky there. Very lucky that that guy got hit by the star. Still, that is going to be minus 30, maybe 40, or 46. Wow. That was just a poor race overall. Um, yeah, hopefully the next one's better. But we haven't got many more players, so let's give it a good shot. Right, okay, here we go. So, this is my choice because I felt like I needed a skill-based track. Um, not something like Mushroom Gorge where as soon as you get pushed off, you... <laughs> that really didn't just happen, did it? As soon as I'm talking about getting pushed off, I get pushed off in one of the worst places. Thankfully, I got the good respawn point, but still... This is just... This is just awful. How how can I be expecting to get to nines at the moment on this? This sort of racing technique is just abysmal, really. And that sort of lag, that's not really fair. I would have gone for the outward one if I'd known. Oh well. We can just keep keep racing, keep chugging through. All they're going to try and do is out-skill base me with their funky kongs and toads and... Luigi for some reason. <laughs> okay, that's uh, an alright item. I'm sure he's going to try and backstab. No, he's not. Okay, let's get past this guy. Oh, we are very lucky there. And he's fallen off, is he? <gasps> wow, that was very lucky with that pal. I'll admit, I've completely jammed that. Wow, what? <laughs> I, I just thought I was going to get wheelie bumped and then knocked off, but then I'd get them. Obviously, Toad is one of the lightest characters in the game. So. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't really know what to say to that. We're, we're, we've got a big lead now. <laughs> Any sort of items like blue shells and red shells shouldn't affect this race anymore. If I just stay on the track, it should be fine, really. Um. Yeah, I mean, as I said, I picked this track because it's skill based and it is a track that I feel like I can do pretty well when I'm concentrating. Um, and it's also one that I've noticed a lot of people who are at the lower VR length and seem to struggle with um, getting the consistency on all three, all three laps. They might have a good lap once or twice, but three laps to be as good as you can get is is quite hard I'll admit so um, it's definitely a good course to pick if you're wanting to gain VR off the lower rank people obviously it's quite a long one and you'd rather short courses so you can gain VR quicker but if you've got a big lobby especially obviously these ones are the, the best races to do as you can see I haven't raced incredibly well I got lucky with that start I haven't had a blue shell, not that start, I meant the um, that bit start of the second lap with Toad, but after that I just raced average, nothing special, but not a bad race. Hopefully that guy in second will finish before the uh, before the timer goes, and uh, yeah, Dark Blue seems to be doing quite well this episode, obviously we did start off with a minus and we did get a minus there, but that one has filled me with confidence, so we can move onwards and upwards, hopefully. I don't even think they're going to finish. Oh, second place has just finished there. Third, fourth. And that should be time. Because obviously it's only 30 seconds after the last, the first person across the line. Okay, well we've got all our VR back. Um, almost. So, a first place in the next three races and we will be absolutely fine. Okay, Peach Gardens. We've lost another player, so it is going to be minimal VR gain from, from this episode. And I do seem to be saying that more often than not, so maybe I should start changing the times that I play at. But it suits me at the moment, so it's not really something I can change too much. Brilliant. So triple red, so you're going to use another one? No. Krish wasn't up for that. Maybe I could even start inviting people to come and play along with me. Take some VR off them. <laughs> JP rings a bell. But 
at the moment. The lobbies do seem to be very small. Very common. Brilliant. Thanks, pal. How did he get a mega there, though? Like, you must have been holding on to that, surely. Right, so these are pretty good items, but mm, because I'm in last, I could I could risk it to try and get a golden mushroom or a bullet bill. But I think just to sort of there we go. Yeah, these singular mushrooms did the trick. I mean, I shouldn't really be this far back. It's just because I got flattened and then destroyed, but. That's a nice little combo in it, I think. First Avengers there as well. And he hit that. And I've still got them there. Although I have now just missed the item, so I bet second will get a lovely red shell. Or green shell! Wow! And there's the red. <laughs> what a combo. And straight into the wall. Wow. Well. Go on, you go past me, please. Thank you. I didn't want to get wheelie bumped, but. I wanted to get last, so hopefully I can get the King Mushroom. Got to cut that corner on the last lap if you're wanting to keep up. Especially as first has pulled away a little bit. Maybe a blue shell would uh, present itself, maybe not. That was a good shot. I, I did see that quite quickly, so... I couldn't really afford much time on it. How did that throw? I put it back. Oh well. Let's hit someone. That guy was well, well far ahead in first, but... That probably is a minus, isn't it? Minus two or something. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that's what we get for being in a small lobby. Right, so we have had two 8Ks join the lobby, which makes it a bit more interesting in terms of VR. Hopefully that means we can get first place and nab it off them, but knowing my luck, it will mean I get hit by everything under the sun. Although that was quite a good turn and a really good pull. And quite a good start. So hopefully, off of this, we should be pulling first. Really, we shouldn't shouldn't be looking behind us too much. Obviously, there's always the threat of the blue shell, but we could dodge that. Is the red shell that we can't dodge at the moment because I'm going to have to hold on to these without getting any other items. That could be good though, because. The likelihood of a pow hitting on here is lower, obviously with all the jumps. And lightning in a seven player room is likely, but a lot less likely. Oh, I didn't do that very well. They'll think I've used all of my boosts now. Because obviously I've done that twice and they'll... Ah, oh! I do not know how I dodged that there. Wow, that is very lucky. Oh, there's the red shell. I'm just going to use that to get back in, in front, because even if a blue shell hits, the likelihood of someone having a red shell afterwards is not too high, so if I can just pull away a bit, that would be very beneficial. Oh wow, that was just a bad, bad, bad jump altogether, and that's the high VR player. Although he's got a red shell after him now, not of my doing of course, because I got lucky. Oh, come on. That was lucky that it went there. I knew if I took that top corner tight and this one, I should be alright. <gasps> How did he not hit my green shell there? That's a joke. Oh my god. 
That's not really fair. He should have hit my green shell. He was right behind me. That was a good finish, but I should have got first place there. I've been robbed. I've actually been robbed. That was awful. First place was mine that whole time. That's just not fair. Better race, though. That was more fun. So, unfortunately, guys, everyone has left the lobby. I believe all of the 8Ks are gone. Um, this won't be the most entertaining last race. But I did see that from that guy. Try and come across. Maybe we could try just going the little lake cut here. Um, yeah, we shall see. I think it's definitely an end of the episode race. Oh, I almost landed that. That was very close there, one. Well, we can keep keep trying in first first uh, try and get first here. I mean, fourth place wouldn't be too bad. It's not it's, it's far to get to first, but it's not hard on this one, obviously with the amount of shortcuts. We don't want to get in front of him though. We want to leave him back there. There you go. Why would you use all of them? I understand, but Right, so we've got two mushrooms. One, oh dear. Good try, good try. Good try, mate. I know exactly what you were trying there. It looks like he's purposely going slow as well. <gasps> How did he do that? That's not fair. Right, get in front of him because he was annoying me. I'm not going to use this because we're not going to get a... You know what, I'm going to use it now to get away from him. <laughs> and he's got the same thing. That was good timing actually, because now I can get them. Oh, I should have held that. I rushed with that. Ooh, but it has brought the pack very close. just because that guy was very annoying there. Right, that'll hit both of them, let's hope. In midair, and drop them down. Well, I mean, that got me one place, which wasn't too bad. But that's it. There we go. Second place on the final lap. So, let's just see how many points we got. Minus one. That was... A bit of a pointless episode, we absolutely moved nowhere on VR, but thank you very much for watching guys. Next week we will have custom tracks and hopefully we'll time it better so we have a bigger lobby and that will be more fun. Obviously there's players join when we leave. So thank you very much for watching, please like and subscribe for more content of Dark Boot and Pokemon. We'll see you next week. Cheers!